What's up YouTube? Welcome to the last episode of Eric and I are archery elk hunt over the counter public land archery tag in Colorado. Both all places that we've never hunted before. It's been a super fun hunt. We find something really really interesting in this video so definitely stay tuned. I just wanted to remind you guys if you aren't already please hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like and comment the video. It helps me out a ton and then I always link the products I use below in the description box. Uh, one of them I want to mention with you guys, the Azire Gear Camo that I'm wearing. It's a new women's camo company. Ladies, definitely check it out. Subscribe to the newsletter so you can see when everything launches and you can get your stuff, your hands on the stuff before it sells out. So definitely check that out. Otherwise, enjoy this video. Gets a little crazy and wild. I hope you guys have liked this series so far. And don't be sad, we have more elk videos coming up, elk hunting videos. Eric and I will be hunting uh, rifle elk very soon, so I'll probably get at least four videos out of that, hopefully, we'll see. And then I also have Colorado, or no, not Colorado, Wyoming, antelope and mule deer coming up. So tons of hunting videos, I'm doing video every day for every hunt that I do. So definitely stay tuned, thanks for watching you guys, enjoy the video. What's up guys, last day of the hunt, and unfortunately nothing worked out this morning. Uh, we did find a big six point and Eric and I were chasing after him. Some of his friends went like back behind him, we went kind of down below, and he just kept getting pushed and we really just could never catch up with him. He was probably nervous from the beginning, but Eric is super good at finding dead heads or dead animals. and. He smells things out pretty good and this morning we were walking up this trail he's like you smell that and sure enough my nose was stuffed I was tired from hiking straight up this mountain I'm like I can't smell anything <laughs> but we came to investigate on our way down and sure enough there's dead horse or a mule I'll flip the camera around so you guys can see it's super stinky like when we came down the mountain Eric smelled it right away and then so did I and Sure enough, here it is. Kind of sad. I don't know if it is a mule or a horse. I saw a lot of the mane hair, which made me think it's a horse. Because I grew up with donkeys and mules. They don't really have a ton of hair on their mane. But it's hard to say because it is smaller. It has smaller hooves and horseshoes and all that. So we don't really know, but here it is. <laughs> Graphic content morning. What's up guys? I'm out here elk hunting. It's the last day unfortunately, but I wanted to share with you my September Bomar Nutrition giveaway. I'm giving away my favorite hunting snack. These Bomar Nutrition, oh upside down, <laughs> sugar cookie protein bars. They are so good. I keep two of them in my pocket and I just snack on them all day long. 20 grams of protein, just above 200 calories, 230 calories, low carb, so good and so good for you. And they taste like a birthday cake slash like really soft sugar cookie, so they're awesome. All right guys, here is the cool shed I found. See that cool little inline cheater? About a year or so old, just lying in the oak brush. Future really awesome buck. So cool. My neighbor's dog is so annoying, huh? <laughs> so cool. I found this well in pursuit of an elk uh, following behind Eric, and it was just laying in the oak brush, so I just grabbed it real quick and then showed Eric, like, look at this sweet shed. <laughs> I didn't take any pictures as it laid or anything because we were in pursuit, but I was really excited about it. Just a cool buck, future giant. What do you guys think? What's up guys? So that Bomar Nutrition giveaway, that goes on on my Instagram. It's at Bridget underscore Fable, my name. That's where I do Bomar Nutrition giveaways once a month. Uh, you have a great chance of winning. So simply go there to follow the rules and get your hands on some free Bomar Nutrition stuff. Like I said, it's easy to enter easy to win if you don't have an instagram just create one instagram is great i'm super active there as well so if you um are don't have one or thinking about get one definitely do it follow me on there at bridget fable enter my giveaways see a lot of cool photos and stuff in behind the scenes stuff that you don't get to see on youtube but anyway that is the end of this video unfortunately 
no elk that morning like I said we did kind of get on them and in them but never close enough we were just kind of always pay playing cat and mouse and Eric's friends were coming down the ridge and the wind was going down so what seemed to happen was they just kept winding these elk and these elk just kept getting pushed farther and farther down and we were kind of down on their level always trying to catch up with them and elk just move so much faster it's near impossible to catch up with them ever but regardless I had such a good time on this hunt I'm not sad at all that I didn't get an elk absolutely I would love to get one I've been trying for an archery bull for a long time now but Eric and I had so much fun around six days together, five or six full days of hunting. Uh, we just had a blast camping, living in the mountains, cooking at camp, being at elk camp, being in the mountains, mountain naps. It's so fun. It's some of my favorite stuff in the world, and I know it's the same for Eric. So we had a great time together. Uh, we're both really busy, and we don't get to do a lot of the same hunts, and we're both away in different places a lot. So I just had so much fun. I'm, I'm not sad or mad I didn't get one. There will be another time. I really am confident with that since we got on so many elk in the last two days in that new spot, I'm confident with a couple more days in that area, we definitely would have gotten one, but... I'm a senior this year. It's a little harder for me to miss school. A lot of my classes are like, you can only miss X amount and blah, blah, blah. So I have to be careful because I'm missing a day later for Wyoming hunt and I'm missing a day later in the year for New Jersey hunt. So I kind of had to space out just missing a day each, which will be totally fine with school. But if it were up to me and we could have hunted a couple days, like I said, I definitely think we would have gotten it done. So it's all good. There will be more time, uh, more elk hunts this year. Like I said, we have rifle over the counter bull elk in Utah coming up, rifle mule deer, Wyoming, rifle antelope, Wyoming, archery, uh, buck and doe, New Jersey. So there's going to be a lot more hunting videos. I'll keep doing this video a day thing. So definitely follow along. And if you guys like this video, please make sure that you are subscribed focus it's so sunny <laughs> if you guys uh haven't seen all the videos definitely go back and watch them please subscribe like comment on vi my videos it helps me out a ton if you want some chunky dread outfitters merch i think there's still a couple days left by the time this one goes live i like them chunky with a really cool trout on it uh digitalized after one that i've caught a seven pound tiger trout my biggest yet and probably around 31 to 33 inches so anyway yeah, it's been a really great series. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I didn't kill in this series, obviously, and it's okay. You know, uh, this is real life. A lot of times people don't tag out. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate, and that's just life. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope all your hunts are going well so far. And like I said, everything you need to know, links, discount codes are all in the description box. They help me out a ton. And yeah, I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for some awesome fishing videos, some more cooking videos, um, brook trout fishing videos. I'm actually going to go catch some brookies right now, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I really had fun making these videos. They were fun to edit. Uh, it was just a fun hunt in general. So thank you guys so much for following along. I hope you have a great day. Have a great night, whatever time of day you're watching this, and we will see you on the next videos. Subscribe, and we'll see you later. This little shed just sticking out by the thick gnarly stuff. I just saw uh, 
from here up and thought it was like a little broken piece of an antler and then when I got closer it was like, oh, it's a little shit.